Hello, let's talk about Scream 4. So this is the third to last movie. Um, Sydney uh, comes back to um, comes back to uh, Woodlock. I'm forgetting the name of the town. Woodsboro. Woodsboro uh, for not the last time, but she comes back to basically do a book signing, book tour type deal uh, for her new book, the book that she's releasing called uh, Out of Darkness. And uh, yeah, it appears that once again, just because she's returning home, there's murders happening. And yeah, now not only is she targeted, and of course Dewey and Gale kind of targeted as well, but her cousin, her younger cousin, played by Emma Roberts, is also now being targeted for all this crazy screen type shenanigans and yeah this is honestly a pretty good film um i think it has very interesting this franchise keeps surprising me although i will say um three is kind of commenting on good third movies and there weren't any uh, there weren't as many as there are now because 2000 the 2010s we kind of had a renaissance in my personal opinion we had a renaissance of third movies having great third movie films in franchises that have kind of continued even to this 2020 but this one is commenting slightly on the reboot craze that we had in 2000s and going into the 2010s not as nuts as it will get to where it, i think almost every horror franchise you could think of i think had a remake or a a sequel soft reboot type thing last decade but it's pretty good and yeah i liked it um it, it comments greatly on I, I think rather uh intelligently on um internet celebrity how um you you get you don't just get your 15 minutes of fame how you get actually one minute of fame you know the poggers guy all those kids all those people who have become memes you know, one moment represents your entire life for an eternity, you know? One image. And they do a good job at sort of commenting on that. And it's especially uh, surprising because it's to the, this film comes out in 2011. There's an 11-year hiatus. There's also going to be another 11-year hiatus between 4 and 5. But yeah, it was very much interesting to watch as they're like, yeah, I mean internet celebrity had kind of started to become a thing uh in the late 2010s or in the late 2000s or 2010s with like youtube and stuff like that um reality tv and i think we this film also would be very um befitting t t for today with tiktok and all the other stuff you know more of these influencers coming out and yeah it works and was quite surprising. Um, there are surprisingly um, st still some refreshing performances by some of our returning actors and our newer actors. I think they all did a great job at convincing me that they were terrified. And this definitely feels a bit more violent-esque. I mean, these all kind of have like the same consistency of violence, but it definitely felt a bit more violent and stuff like that. Um, something I will comment on very quickly is the camera. They, I think, brightened up the contrast thing. That's what it is, where, you know, the white levels are now higher, kind of like in um, Minority Report, you know? And it was very interesting. It got very... I, I quickly got used to it, but it was just, like, something I noticed. Like, oh, you know? Um, you know, uh, the brightness levels is up now. Uh, one complaint I have is at the beginning of the film, you you get two false starts because we have to show the seventh stab movie. Yeah, in the eleven year gap, they've made four new stab films within universe, and there were like two just like non starts that got a little irritating. But thankfully, that this doesn't keep happening. The whole messing with your perception of what is reality it's just oh now that we're in the movie proper it's like okay now who's the killer 
And I will say the killer did catch me by surprise. Um, I was actually actively trying to solve the mystery myself. I wasn't letting my, myself just get told the story. I was like, okay, you want to let this time? I'm, I'm going to figure out who, or I'm going to try to guess on who the killer is. I was ultimately wrong. Although I did suspect one of them. So I'm kind of proud of myself on that. But I was, I was wrong and genuinely surprised by who the killer turned out to be. So, yep, that is it for now, I think. Um, next week, we'll be reviewing Scream 5 and then, of course, Scream 6. Um, in two days, I, uh, Friday, uh, Taken 2 will come out, uh, my review for Taken 2. And then on Sunday, of course, my review for Taken 3 will be, uh, will be released. So, yep. Stay tuned for that. Remember that God made you special. He loves you very much. I hope you have a very nice day. And as always, God bless y'all.